few months ago, I bought this Chinese ute for about $38,000. Was it 39? I can't remember. It was under $40,000. And I've owned it now for about two months, which kind of makes me a bit of an expert on Chinese utes. Expert? Yeah, no, I'll go with expert. And if you've heard of them, or you've seen them on the road, and you're thinking about getting one, then this is five things that I love about my GWM ute, the Canon X. The first thing I love about this ute is the fact that it's got a bit of luxury to it. When I was thinking about buying a ute, I knew my budget was about $40,000. And for that, I could have either got a 10 or 13 year old Toyota, perhaps a six, seven or eight year old Mitsubishi, or I could have got this for a year old. And it's got all of the mod cons to it. Like for example, it's got a wireless charger for my phone. And if I don't want to use the wireless, I can just use the wires. And the wires are also what I need to use for the Apple CarPlay. And it's got a digital display, which tells me nice and big in the middle that I haven't got my seatbelt on, but also the speed, which is a great feature to help you stop speeding in Australia, because the police do love to catch you speed and they'll fine you. Well, hopefully you won't catch me, Mr. Police Officer. Yeah, I might live to regret those words. But if you want a car that's got a little bit of updatedness, luxury, or in the case for me, because I've got two small girls and one of them's still a baby, this has got the latest five-star ANCAP rating. So it's like the safest ute on the road, apparently. You know, apparently. Who am I to judge? What do I know about ANCAP safety ratings? My other favorite bit has got to do with the back. And yeah, there it is. There's a little step to help you kind of just get into the back of your ute so that you can also load one of the biggest ute trays compared to all of the other utes. And it comes with a spray and tub liner. And if you're short like me in comparison to most of the average Australians, you can sit on the back of the ute and have your feet on your step. But I know what you're thinking, Ross, when are you actually gonna use the little step? And I thought that too, what a gimmick. Turns out, when did I use it? On the first time I was loading the back of my ute. Cause you can't like reach into the back very easy. So you gotta get on your little step. It makes me wonder what it's like for people that don't have a little step. What did they do before they had little steps on the back of your ute? How do you cope? I feel sorry for you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You're just probably a really tall Australian. It may even help you to learn your Chinese. And when you wanna put your little step away, you just lift it up and slide it back in. And it just lives rent free in your door. There. The next bit I love is back inside and you have to turn the engine on. Nice push to start. One of my biggest concerns with buying a ute, which was a much bigger car than anything I'm used to, was how do you maneuver the thing? Like, how am I gonna know if I'm gonna back into something or how far is the front? But you don't have to worry about that in this because it's got 360 cameras. That so just tells you where you are and it's got the little lines. So wherever the little green line is going, that's where I'm going. And then if I get too close, the sensors beep at me or I can just see it on the screen. But seriously, how cool is that? And they teach you some more Chinese. And the main reason that I got this vehicle is to kind of live the Australian outdoor lifestyle and do things like camping and just kind of traveling around a little bit in your ute. And there is one feature that is really handy if you are a little bit off grid. How many cars do you know that have a 240 volt charger and another little USB and air conditioning vents so the children don't get too hot? And the whole back seats can flip up using this little toggle, which I can't do at the moment because of all the kids seats. But the whole thing then just flips up and you get all of that space in the back, which I'll never really be able to use because I've got kids and I've got to cart them around. I'm never going to be able to do it on my own. <sighs> but at least you know it's there. Seriously, though, look at this view. That's the Australian dream, isn't it? Just come to a place like this, sit down, have your ute close by. I mean, I know I should have just brought it here. And just be able to sit down on the edge and enjoy the view. What a rubbish way to spend your life. And unless there was a decent road up to it, I couldn't really have done that in my Holden Commodore. And all I need to do now is get some new tires and I can pretty much do it in my new ute. And I know what you're thinking. If you get a new ute, don't you want to have some customizable stuff on it to make it more utey? Or to be able to cope better on the harsh Aussie roads? Well, it's already got a nudge bar. That didn't come with it. And there's some guys in Brisbane called Savage Tech. And see what else I can get for the ute to like pimp it out a bit. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a pimp. I don't want to be a pimp. How cool do you reckon we could get this ute looking? Apart from new tires, what else do I really need? I do need something to help the dog because he doesn't like it in the back of that tray. Just completely exposed to the Australian sun. He is not a fan. Now there is one last thing I need to show you, which is my favorite bit of this ute. And until I noticed it, I never even knew it was a thing in cars, but I have to drive it. And don't worry, I'm not going to be using my phone. I can just put the camera in the mount. So here's the experiment. I'm pulled up on a regular side street. Look, there we go. Regular side street. Camera's in the mount. And I've got a second camera here that's gonna be recording my favorite feature on the dash. And then we're gonna drive forward because up there is a 50 kilometer hour sign. Now watch what happens when I get a little bit closer to that 50 kilometer an hour sign. Just past it, 
50. It tells you the speed. I need to pull over. How good is that? It just tells you the speed. So now there's absolutely no excuse for getting done for speeding because the speed you should be going appears right in front of you. I mean, I know that's not going to completely stop you from speeding now, but at least you've been told. At first, I thought it was magic. I didn't know how it did it. And then I realized the 360 cameras that are fitted all around the car must be reading the speed sign. I didn't even know that was a thing. Welcome to 2023. So those are my five favorite things about the GWM Ute, in particular the Canon X. And if you're still skeptical, about a Chinese ute and all these tech things and you're wondering what can it actually do four-wheel driving well watch this video and see how we got on yeah you're wondering if we got bogged <laughs>